Hey, what's up, Spencer? My name is everybody, and welcome back to my channel. If you have existed anywhere on the internet in the last few months, then you have probably seen the most adorable adorable baby hippo the world has ever seen. This is Mu Dang, a baby pygmy hippo who lives in Thailand's Khao Kiu Open Zoo. Fun fact, Mu Dang translates to bouncy pork. Oh my god, isn't that just the cutest name ever? She recently became famous when her keepers started posting videos of her sleeping, eating, and frolicking in the water. This caused the zoo to see a massive spike in visitors and even led them to create a 24-hour live stream of her enclosure. In fact, let's see what Mu Dang is doing right now. Yeah, clearly I tried to watch the live stream, but for some reason it's only giving this like animation of a hippo walking. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because I'm in America, but hopefully the live stream will be up soon. Over the past few months, Mudang has become so popular that she has inspired tons of fan art, memes, and even a Bitcoin. Due to her popularity, the zoo has had to make some major changes. Originally, anybody could go and see her at any time, but after some people have thrown things at her, they have now changed their policy, so only limited amounts of visitors can see Mu Dang for short amount of time on specific days. The zoo is also working on copywriting Mudang's image so that they can control and use the way that it is put and sold on merchandise. Hopefully doing so will bring the zoo more money and will allow them to provide better care and enclosures for their animals. Now anytime something good is happening, there are going to be people who are going to come in and criticize it because humans love to shit on everything. And Mudang is no exception. So not that long ago, a Tumblr post became pretty popular as it was criticizing the type of care that Mudang was getting. Not to be a killjoy, though it is what I do best, but the unsafe and rough handling of a baby pygmy hippo in a pretty substandard Thai zoo being memed into something funny and cute really shows how much groupthink plays into public perception of animal welfare. Mudang shows avoidance, threat displays, and stress around her keepers that are constantly manhandling her, blasting her with a hose, and harassing her. The enclosure is mostly concrete, which is horrible for her soft feet. There looks to be some substrate, but there doesn't seem to be any areas for wallowing or deep water wading. There's also very easy access of this hippo to the public with no places to hide. I'd love if someone could shed more light on the enclosure, but from what I've seen, it's not great. Also, the free contact and forcing into tubs that the keepers do is only going to create an avoidant and potentially aggressive and dangerous pygmy hippo. But the public happily overlooks that because she's cute. It's similar attitude with seals too. Stop rewarding bad husbandry with clout. Baby animals deserve agency and respect to grow up without getting harassed and feeling the need to defend themselves constantly. On the surface, I totally get where this person is coming from. There are pictures and videos in which it seems like Mudang is scared, and the enclosure does seem to be a bit small and kind of lacking in some of the things that a hippo might need. But once you actually look deeper into it, it does seem like Mudang is getting proper care. For one thing, Mudang is not the first hippo that this keeper has cared for. Athapan Nundi has been working with hippos for the past eight years and has raised Mudang's mother and siblings, a total of 10 hippos, I believe. So this is not his first rodeo when taking care of and raising hippos. Second, he isn't actually interacting with Mu Dang all day, every day. He's only really in the enclosure for about two hours out of the day, and that's when he's feeding them. And this is the time in which he gets the pictures and the photos and sprays her with water and has fun with her and stuff like that and uploads that stuff to the internet. Also, when it comes to manhandling Mu Dang, he isn't manhandling as much as he is desensitizing. When you work with and train an animal, there are all sorts of things that you have to do in order to get them used to any and everything that you might do to them, which means exposing them to any and everything that you might do so they get used to it. When you're in a zoo, you do want to try and preserve and mimic the wild as much as possible, but at the same time, you do really need to get these animals used to humans interacting with them. 
This makes it so that when you do things such as veterinary visits, the animal is already used to people touching them and prodding them and doing whatever it is. And this makes it so the interaction between the human and the animal is safe. If you have to do a veterinary interaction with an animal that is not used to you and is not used to being touched by people, it can make the situation extremely dangerous. A especially as they grow bigger. It seems like a lot of people are on the side of the zoo and do feel as though they are providing proper care for Mu Dang. And some people have even gone so far as to say to criticize the zoo is a racist thing to do, which I understand where they're coming from, but I don't believe is true. Anytime a animal or a child or any sort of living being has their likeness captured and then put up on the internet all of the time, I think it's really important for us to stop and say, wait a minute, are we properly caring for their needs or are we exploiting them? Because unfortunately, more often than not, the answer is that we are exploiting them. For example, that pregnant stingray that everybody was talking about on the internet a little while ago was being exploited and actually ended up dying. And if this is the first time that you're hearing about this, earlier in the year, a North Carolina aquarium stated that one of their stingrays, Charlotte, was actually pregnant with shark babies. That's right, stingray, shark babies. Female stingray named Charlotte is expecting pups. But here's the thing, she's been living at the aquarium without a male companion. There seems to be two possible solutions to the puzzle. Scientists say that in rare instances, stingrays can reproduce without a mate in order to help the species survive. Or okay. possibility two, it's possible that the stingray was impregnated by a small male shark that was placed in her tank last July. Later, they tried to claim that Charlotte was actually reproducing asexually, and a lot of people were commenting on their videos saying that it really looked like Charlotte wasn't being properly cared for. And also, the timeline for stingray gestation does not match up with what they had been posting. Actual marine biologists were commenting on this aquarium's posts, voicing their concerns, which led this aquarium to blocking? these marine biologists, instead of actually getting Charlotte the help that she needed, which did lead to the stingray's death. So no, I do not think that it is a bad or racist thing to question whether Mudang is being properly cared for, especially when this zoo has faced criticism for the way that it's treated animals in the past. In 2021, this zoo faced backlash for their shows in which elephants would swim and perform tricks for an audience. Animal activists stated that this was a bad and abusive practice because elephants do not act this way in the wild, but the zoo claimed that seeing as nobody was riding the elephants and seeing as elephants do swim, this was a natural activity for them. They also faced criticism for their penguin parades in which penguins would openly walk around the zoo, which is is something that does happen at some of the zoos here in America, and I believe that the zoos here are getting as much criticism for doing that as the one in Thailand is. I found this post on Reddit which criticized the penguin parade that happens at Phillips Island, which I know is Australia, not America, but the behavior that is happening in this post is definitely something that Americans would do. So this post talks about how the guides at Phillips Island would tell people not to take flash photography because it really messes with the penguins' eyes and can negatively affect them, but because there are so many people there and because a lot of them want to have a photo for Insta, they will take a picture with flash photography anyway, which obviously harms the penguins. The guides literally just said that. Why are you doing this? Just so that you can get likes on Insta. So yeah, it does seem as though this zoo has engaged in some questionable activities when caring for animals in the past. So I don't think that it's a bad thing at all for us to take a moment to stop and make sure that Mudang is being properly cared for. Thankfully, it really does seem like she is receiving the proper care and that the zoo is working hard to not exploit her. Like I said, the zoo really does restrict how often people are allowed to see Mu Dang now, and the director has even threatened legal action against the very few people who have harassed her in the past. All in all, I think that this is a good story. 
with all of the terrible things that are happening in the world, to see the question being posed of is Mudang being abused, it makes me very happy to be able to look into it and be able to confirm that no, she is not. Would I like to see her in a bigger, more enriching enclosure? Yes, I would. But seeing as the zoo is getting so much more attention and so much more money, it does seem like this is something that they will be able to provide for her in the future. Like hopefully they will be able to build a bigger, more enriching enclosure for her and the other animals that live there. So that's kind of all that I have on this topic for today. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I am trying to get to my first thousand followers. So if you help me along in that journey, I would really appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But besides that, thank you so much for being here. I hope that you stay safe and have a fantastic day. Bye.